All right, so welcome back to another episode, and today we are gonna go over how much fishing tackle do I carry? That is a comment that I've been getting asked more than anything lately. And the way I kinda wanna start it is with the rods, the tackle, and also what I carry in the car, all right? So for the rods, when I'm bank fishing, or even boat fishing, it, it depends if I'm on the Great Lakes or inland, but I usually take two rods. I take a six gear with a medium moderate or a medium heavy moderate for a lipless or a chatterbait, at least for this time of the year. And I take a medium heavy with a jig. And by the way, before we go any farther, I came out yesterday when it was 34 degrees, got a bass. Right. 34 degrees, first fish of the day on the jig. Fat little fish, man. Got cold last night, and I tried a couple spots to catch a fish, and I kind of couldn't. So I came back over to the rocks. That fish fought hard. It was a little fish, but he fought. It was pretty cool on the finesse jig. But anyway, the amount of rods and reels that I, that I carry, if I kind of want to describe it this way, depends on the time of the year, where I'm fishing, what I'm going for. Now, if it's the, if it's the very beginning of the year, of course, I'm going to carry a spinning rod with a blade bait, a jerk bait, a ned rig, and then I'm going to change the tackle as I go. So if it's the dead of summer, I'm not going to be carrying what I'm about to go over. If it's like the dead of summer, I'm going to switch to Texas rigs, frogs, heavy cover fishing, braid. Again, also depends on where I'm fishing, the lake I'm at, and all that. But if you want to know what do I carry when I fish, because I've been getting asked this a lot, that depends on the time of the year, the conditions, the water temperature, where I'm fishing. A lot of people think that I just grab some rods, go to a spot, and hope I catch fish, but no. Like you guys, I also watch the conditions and pay attention to what's going on. And do me a favor, before we go any farther, comment below, how much fishing tackle do you carry? What do you carry? Let me know. I would love to open the discussion about this. I remember years ago, I used to carry what? Three, four, five rods, all this tackle. And now, especially as time goes, I like to simplify things, all right? So to add to that, at this time of the year in the spring, that is gonna be when I'm gonna carry the most baits on me, okay? That is when I'm gonna be carrying the most moving baits. You will see you do have black and blue chatter baits, green pumpkin, bluegill, chartreuse and white, lipless crankbaits, and also diving crankbaits. Now, like I said, as the year goes on, I'm gonna be changing this out. Or if I go to Lake St. Clair or Lake, Mich Lake Michigan, excuse me, I'm gonna be changing this out. There might be a mixture of crankbaits and jerkbaits or different hard baits. It's basically what I'm trying to describe, but at this time of the year, some of my best baits are gonna be a chatterbait and a lipless crankbait. Now, obviously last night, I did add a couple chatterbait elites, but my two favorite chatterbaits to throw, number one is gonna be a Strike King Thunder Cricket, and the other is gonna be an Evergreen Z-Man Jackhammer, all right? And I get asked all the time, which one is better? I don't wanna pick one. I love the jackhammer, it kills fish, but I also really like a thunder cricket. Stock out of the package, I like a thunder cricket because it dives a little deeper. But if I want the bait to stay up higher, I am gonna stay with the jackhammer. Now granted, you can adjust the bait, adjust the depth on your baits, excuse me. But another good bait, another really good bait that I catch a lot of fish on is a Strike King Red Eye Shed Lipless Crankbait. I've actually caught previous personal bests in the past with the Delta Red, what is it? The Sexy Shad, the Chartreuse. And I actually had a crazy day last year on, don't hook my finger with those out barb hooks, on the Mega Bass Vibration X Ultra. So anyway, like I said, at this time of the year, that is when my bag is gonna be the heaviest. That is when I'm gonna be carrying the most moving baits. As the season goes on, 
that's going to switch like i said to heavy cover frogs taxes rig you name it so you have one box right there all right and i also do have tools a scale and scissors in here i do keep my plastics in the front pouch if you're wondering about tackle bag reviews or what's in my tackle bag check out the channel man i got a lot of those videos so you do have a box of the moving baits that will change you have the gopro case i'm currently wearing the gopro hero 7 black and i do have the gopro hero 8 extra batteries uh the supercharger too many tripods sd cards and batteries in here i know you can get a power bank it's just one of those things i haven't done yet i do like the system that i use but anyway like i said you have right now you have the moving baits you have a box for hooks tungsten weights quarter ounce uh finesse shrooms one tenth ounce jig heads and also one sixth ounce i like a one tenth ounce for a lot of what i'm doing if i'm fishing in deep water or i want to change the rate of the fall on the ned rig i will go to a one sixth ounce i do carry one out two out and three out hooks and i also this is going to sound funny but i also keep the tag ends that i cut off in this box and you will see that i do have a couple swim baits that have actually been catching quite a bit of fish lately so a terminal tackle box a moving bait box and what would spring fishing be without a jig box all right jigs have caught me a ton of fish this year and you'll notice like with other moving baits or with my color selection i like to keep it natural green pumpkin black and blue blue craw falcon lake craw uh chili craw cowboy craw that's really kind of all i do and right now for the jig selection because a lot of people ask about this i am carrying quarter ounce five sixteenths and three eighths i will go three eighths and half ounce if i need to again depending on the depth the conditions and all that but right now this has basically got it covered so right now we got three boxes tools and a gopro case another thing now another thing that i wanted to cover okay is let's say i'm throwing a jig and i'm fishing with someone else that has a jig a different jig excuse me and they're catching fish and i'm not but i don't have the bait that is when i will add a bait to my arsenal or what i carry on me and by the way if you're wondering do i carry tackle in the car no i load up the backpack the boxes and the rods whether it's on the bank or the boat and that is the system that i use and i know i'm kind of opening the boxes again and all that doing that on purpose and if by the way if you have any questions about any of the baits the colors the weights the prices let me know i love bass fishing this is my side job but i am still more involved in the tackle than i am anything i still like to tell people i'm pretty sure i know more about tackle than i actually do fishing but anyway so if i'm throwing like a three eighths and someone's catching them on a half ounce sure i'll switch or if someone has a bait that is catching the fish and i don't have it of course, I'm gonna add or remove the bait that I need or don't need. And another thing that I get asked is, well, what if you're out there fishing? And what if, what if you don't have the bait? Or what if you gauge the situation wrong? Or what if you read the conditions wrong? Of course, that's gonna happen. That's how you learn more. That's how I grow as an angler and a content creator, okay? I'm not, I am not always right. I can go out there and say, oh, I think a tube and a jerk bait is gonna work. Or I think a chatter bait and a jig is gonna work am i right sometimes sure but other times when i'm like man look at this guy throwing the senko what was i thinking of course man that's bass fishing and again too for the plastics that i do carry whether it's the strike king or the guggen or the net bait whatever the ones that i carry that i keep in the pouch i do like to carry texas rig baits once in a while a beaver and also jig trailers so again if you had any questions about the tackle and even the GoPro case and the GoPro setup, let me know. Put out a GoPro and make some fishing videos. You never know what could happen. Seriously. I started my channel like everybody else with no subscribers. But anyway. You know, another thing too is I, I keep talking about is as the season goes, I change. Well, that is the truth. Because as I go in the year, my tackle selection is going to get lighter. My bag is going to get lighter. And then again in the fall, in the fall, move that case out of the way. In the fall, I'm going to start carrying more tackle again. Now, if you ask me what or what time of the year do I carry more tackle, spring, summer, or fall, obviously that is going to be spring. 
If you've never fished in Michigan, the pre-spawn here is insane. And yes, there are days where they will just hit anything, okay? The most tackle I'm gonna carry is in the spring. In the summer, like I said, finesse baits, frogs, it depends, Great Lakes or inland, I have to change according to the conditions. And in the fall, I kind of finish that up. And then in our winter, I either ice fish or make more tackle videos or a vlog once in a while. But anyway, do me a favor, like I said, comment below. How much fishing tackle do you carry when you're bank and boat fishing? I do both, bank, boat, river pond, you name it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I cannot wait to read the comments and reply. You guys know I reply to all the comments. I appreciate you watching. And hopefully today we can catch a fish for a different video. But anyway, I will see you guys next time.